have you ever wanted to visualize data of some kind, but you didn't know which chart to use? I'm Enrique Ruiz from Maven Analytics, and in this video, I'm gonna show you the three key questions for choosing the right chart type. When selecting a chart type, always ask yourself the following three key questions. Number one, what type of data are you visualizing? This could be time series data, which spans across continuous time periods. It could be categorical data, which is basically split up into groups or categories. It could be geospatial data with properties like country, state, and zip code. Or it could be hierarchical data, meaning that it has natural groups and subgroups. Now, there are other types of data like financial data, text data, survey data, etc but it will usually fall into one of these four groups that I've mentioned above. Now question number two, what do you want to communicate? Are you trying to show comparison, composition, distribution, or a relationship? And this is key because showing comparison for categorical data requires a different chart type than showing composition for categorical data. If you're enjoying this video, you'll be glad to know that it's part of my full 10-hour advanced Excel dashboard design course at Maven Analytics. So if you want hands-on practice and the full-length lessons, make sure to check out the link in the description. And finally, and this is the question that is overlooked most often, who is the end user and what do they need? Now, if they're a fellow analyst, then they will most likely want to see details and understand what's happening at a more granular level. But if they're a manager, then they'll want a more summarized view with clear, actionable insights. An executive will be looking for high-level KPIs, and the general public requires engaging visuals with a clear story to follow. Now, I know this last one may not seem too important now, but this final question will become critical when building visualizations for dashboards. So, if we think back to the visuals that we used for the 10 second rule, the answers to the three key questions there would be, well, we are visualizing time series data since we're dealing with consecutive months. We want to compare sales over time, and it would be most likely presented to a manager that wants to gain an understanding of sales trends by product. And that would be enough to let us know that we need to use a line chart. That's it. Those are the three questions you need to choose the right chart type for data visualization. If you're looking for more ways to level up your data skills, check out our self-paced courses and guided projects at Maven Analytics and create your own personalized learning plan for free. Thank you so much for watching. and As always, make sure to like and subscribe for more data content just like this. I'll see you in the next one.